tend to sort of be more, I guess, I like to draw, but it's always more painterly than, than actually any sort of dry medium, so it's, it tends to be sort of gouache and mixed with, I always end up pulling out paint and, and adding some sort of liquid to the drawings. It's an idea that I've always sort of, to, to be an artist and to run a gallery, it's, it's not an easy thing, it's sort of something I, I never thought I'd be doing, I guess it's um, kind of cringe or shy away from that idea of self-promotion as well, so having the show, it's um, having this little exhibition, is, as, I guess it's the start of sort of well, restarting my own career as an artist in a lot of ways because that's kind of been on the back burner for a few years now. I guess as, as even in our culture as Australians and things like that we don't like to blow our own horn and but I, I think we've got to st also stand by what you um, what you do and and, um, and and be proud of 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 your of your own art and your, your own the art form or the art making that you do. And so uh, I guess having this exhibition is kind of me making my first step in doing that, I guess. I admire anyone that can get um, wonderful sensual feelings through abstract work and I, I believe Aaron has done that very successfully. And paper for me is, is, you know, a lot of people find it, 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 it always very fragile and delicate and and I, I love it when someone uses it as a strong force rather than a delicate instrument. And Aaron's done very well in that respect. I think on canvas it'll be another thing. He uses the paper for what it is, the, the fact that it, it's porous and yet has amazing layers and the fact that you can scratch back into it and really use it um, for, you know, for what it once was, a tree, you know, some amazing force of nature. And these, for me, have become very fresh, very strong. Um, there's new approaches, there's new space in the work, which I really appreciate. Um, and very, very much more simplistic mark makings to end the painting. And I'm, I'm thinking that, that these are very positive marks, and so he's at a very positive state of mind at the moment. There's lovely empty spaces and you almost want to see where those empty spaces take you. So I just love like how the, just the little snails, so they've made their little, their mark. And uh, there you go. <laughs> and um, even that, you know, even how the how the dog has just sort of changed that all of a sudden is I love how you can sort of you can wipe away and and that idea of um, concealment and revealment when you're painting and, and this sort of thing echoes those ideas. Yeah look I guess that people sort of um quite often just try and see something in the work because that's what they've been taught what to do when, you, when you're looking at artwork. You, from a very early age we, uh, we get sort of uh, tainted by this idea that what we draw has got to look like something that's uh, or represent something that's um, you know if we're supposed to paint, draw a dog we're supposed to draw Draw something that looks like a dog and um, a cat. And, you know, I remember, you know, like those, when I was at, in kindergarten or whatever else, with a circle, a little triangle nose, and some whiskers and things like that. And that's what you, that's what you get trained to, to do. And I mean, I, 
quite often I've, I've just tried to uh, unlearn those things a lot of the time. I was, um, I was uh, watching a little little piece that um, an artist that, I, that I've come across in my time, Wadding Tennis. And uh, that's coming up from watching cartoons as a kid and it's just coming up through the pipe somewhere. I start from the bottom of the page sometimes and I go Shh. and I try to like I actually wrote a list one time it was like when I as soon as I feel the impulse to move left I go right as soon as I feel the impulse to, to make a, a symmetrical move I, I don't. He talked about and, I, and it's the same things I do is that you know like when, when I do these sorts of lines and whatever else and if I feel the urge to to turn right I'll, I'll deliberately go left and and uh, if I sort of want to make a, make a, um, or block something out, I'll, I'll instead, I'll, I'll just sort of scribble over it and, and um, quite often just go against that, that initial urge to, of what, of what, I sh what my brain's telling me what to do so I can sort of learn or that I sort of reprogram myself to do something that's a bit more unexpected for, for myself. I guess, it, I mean, it's quite obvious that it's sort of um, Tom Lee's pretty uh, prevalent. Um, Middleman's also been pretty, pretty big uh, for me. Um, Fred Williams and John Olsen as well. Especially times like this, I'm always looking and uh, and somehow they it end up filtering through into my artwork. I sort of don't go out to try and paint a landscape, or um, I just try and capture some sort of essence of it. I guess it's uh, and that sort of just happens without really thinking about it.